High up in a tower, quite close to the sky, lived a wizard named Waldo, who was able to fly. At the base of the tower was a beautiful green, surrounded by trees and a crystal clear stream. In the tower, the wizard made potions and brews and labelled each one with instructions to use. He'd then fly to the market where his potions were sold to his helper called Hazel to collect all his gold. Waldo lived like a king in his tower of plenty. His pockets were full, but his heart was empty. So he made up his mind to make a full heart and raced to his spell room to make a quick start. Once he was there, to his books he did turn, for the secret of love he now had to learn. He read all his books from A through to Z, but a potion for love he just could not see. Waldo studied so long his eyes fell tight shut, he fell deep into sleep from head through to foot. He went deep into a dream and a path he did take until he came to a castle in the middle of a lake. How to get to the castle wasn't really a riddle. He jumped high in the air and flew to the middle. Then he opened the door and stepped with great stride into the castle to see what was inside. He stood there and watched for a minute or two at people running around with so much to do. He asked of one man, why are you all so keen? We are prisoners of a dragon who makes us work and is mean. Then Waldo asked, How does he keep you all in? The lake is full of sharks, so we cannot swim. Waldo said sternly, Where does this dragon lie? At the bottom of the castle, came the reply. Waldo turned from the man with a wizardly frown and raced to the steps with a wave bleeding down. On finding the dragon, Waldo hid from his view. Scratching his head, he thought what to do. Then he conjured a cage with strong magic to bind it and imprison the dragon to see how he finds it. They were all so happy in caging the beast, they made Waldo their king and prepared a great feast. Waldo felt happy making right what was wrong. It filled up his heart with laughter and song. Then he built a great bridge with magical seal so people can come and go as they feel.
Then all of a sudden, without any warning, Waldo woke in his tower, stretching and yawning. With a great big smile, he gathered all of his gold and flew to the market where his potions were sold. Then he shared out his wealth to all of the living, because filling the heart starts off by giving. Yeah.